There's an endless amount of ways to get around. You can fly, take a boat, ride a bike, or just walk the entire way. But then there are the less conventional ways for everyone to get from point A to point B. Whether it's a souped-up train or boats as old as the cultures they're part of, the world has no lack of transportation methods. Some of these ways of getting around are a little more practical than others, and some just may exist to attract tourists. Join me for today's video, because we're going to be taking a look at the top 15 most unusual transportation methods. Number 15. Monte Toboggan Kicking off this list is the Monte Toboggan of Portugal. It's amazing how a country so beautiful can have such a goofy way of getting around, but their Monte Toboggan really strips things down, and it's simply a wicker sledge with just enough room for two to sit comfortably. But because it's a sledge, that means there are no wheels, so two operators are going to hop in the rear, set you up at the top of a hill, and push. This specific toboggan offers riders a quick descent down the hills in the Madeira and Monteo, to Livramento and Fuchal. But because the toboggan is totally powered by feet, the ride itself is pretty short, coming in at just over a mile. But even so, you'd have to be strong and have some endurance to operate one of these wild rides. And speaking of which, the drivers are called carriers and can move fast enough together so the toboggan reaches a max speed of 24 miles an hour. So how does something like this even come into existence? Well, the history of Monte Toboggan reaches back to the 1800s, when it became one of the more popular methods of transportation. At the end of the day, it's highly unlikely that the toboggan fell a little too far behind when it came to new technology. But because it's still so damn fun, it's remained a popular tourist attraction. Number 14. Bamboo Trains Much of the Western world may not realize it, but if you travel east, you'll find many Asian countries are still using bamboo for everyday things. The stuff grows as fast as it does tall, and so it's even used to still build simple things like homes and furniture, but even something as insane as scaffolding for construction sites too. It's sturdy and reliable and will never go out of style, so then why not implement it for transportation? If you go over to the southwest region of Cambodia, then make sure to take a ride on their bamboo trains. Also known as a nori, these simple bamboo trains are considered to be improvised rail vehicles and lack not only brakes, but any sort of safety measure. Yeah, they're primitive in the grand scheme of modern technology, but they're still a great way to haul goods across the region at a decent enough pace. And believe it or not, plenty of locals and tourists alike are riding these natural rails, especially because the normally scheduled train services are not only irregular, but slower too. And while many of these bamboo trains are used via a hand pump, more and more of them are being outfitted with small motors that will allow them to hit a top speed of 25 miles an hour. But as I said earlier, there aren't any brakes, so while going fast is fun, stopping tends to be the hard part. Number 13. Reindeer Sled People of the world rejoice because we can finally live out our North Pole fantasy with this entry to the list. In the northern Lapland region of Finland, it's got a population of about 178,000 residents, and there are nearly as many reindeer living there as well. So it would only make sense that the reindeer are the beasts of burden of choice. The indigenous people of Lapland, the Sami, use reindeer as you would a horse to pull their sleds, and as you can imagine, tourists love to get in on the reindeer action as well. The ride is cold, and then again it's a winter wonderland, so it's totally worth it. But while you may not be taking one of these reindeer sleds from the bus station to the hotel, you can hop aboard for a full-on reindeer safari and behold the massive herds as they graze through these snow-covered hills. And plus, if you get to Lapland at the right time, you can be ferried about by the reindeer while the northern lights whip their fantastic colors into the night sky above. Awesome. Number 12. Shockwave Jet Truck Alright, time to really rev it up now. Bet you didn't think trucks could be jet powered, did you? Well, be prepared to have your expectations absolutely shattered, because the shockwave is more powerful than anything you've ever seen. With a look and a name fit for a transformer, the Shockwave is a custom-built race truck powered by its three giant Westinghouse jet engines that kick out a massive 36,000 horsepower. The Shockwave can drive a quarter mile in just six seconds, spewing out flames in its wake all the way. This beast of a vehicle also holds the world record for full-size jet-powered trucks, clocking in at top speeds of 376 miles an hour. It's absolutely amazing, and only exists so the driver can have some fun, which isn't a bad thing. 
And this thing is so fast that it competes against planes and air shows and usually beats them without any problems. This rig consumes 400 gallons per mile, and you can crank that number up to 11 when the afterburners are activated. The shock wave. It's so fast, just hitting the brakes isn't enough, so it needs two aircraft parachutes to slow this big boy down. Number 11. 1962 Peel P-50 You don't have to be a car aficionado to know that there are some cool cars, and some not-so-cool cars, and then some straight-up weird and unusual cars. And this entry on our list most definitely falls into the latter category. A product of the Peel Engineering Company, the 1962 Peel P-50 can't really be called a car. It's more of a micro car, and even earned the Guinness World Record title for the smallest production car. This Peel P-50 weighs just 123 pounds, making it lighter than most adults, but it's highly unlikely that a full-grown adult could ever fit inside. Perhaps made as more of a novelty to be road-ready, the PLP-50 only had three wheels, with two in the front and one in the back. And if you needed to go in reverse, you were on your own, because this little car had no reverse gear. But it was probably light enough you could just pull it on your own. The PLP-50 did interest some strange car fanatics, with one model even fetching a $176,000 price tag at a Sotheby's auction. And despite being nothing more than a giant conversation piece, the PLP-50 is amazingly still in production. Number 10. L0 Series Maglev A modern high-speed train that uses magnetic levitation is the L0 Series Maglev in Japan. And while it's certainly known for its speed, traveling up to a record-breaking 375 miles an hour, the L0 Series is also built with a very distinct-looking 49-foot-long nose. And while it may seem a little too long to the untrained eye, this perhaps silly-looking elongated nose is also what helps allow it to cut through the air like a hot knife through butter. The long nose means less energy consumption and a reduced drag that other trains can only dream of. Manufactured by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and operated by JR Central, the L0 Series Maglev is also the stretch limo of bullet trains at 980 feet long and can take you all around the Honshu region, with the most popular route being from Tokyo to Osaka. But it can also cover ground from Tokyo to Nagoya, a 178-mile journey, in just 40 minutes flat. That is pretty fast. Number 9. The Bangkok Klongs If you live in or have ever been to Thailand, then chances are you know all about the Bangkok Klongs. Klong simply translates to canal in English, with these Klongs being a major outlet of transportation and trade every day for thousands of locals and tourists. The canals in Bangkok all spawn from the rivers Chao Phraya, Ta Chin, and the Meklong, with many of their tributaries being in the low-lying areas of central Thailand. But these klongs, or canals, are absolutely stunning, and attempting to navigate the daily hustle and bustle is a feat that only the Thai people seem to be capable of. And with so many of them, one can only imagine how difficult it must be to even attempt to count them all. But people did, and in 2019 there are 1,682 klongs accounted for, with a total of over 1,600 miles of length. That is absolutely wild, and only nine of these canals serve as the primary floss drainage conduits. Many parts of Bangkok will see a crisscrossing of the Klongs, and so the city was given the loving nickname of Venice of the East. It is pretty stunning to witness. Many of these canals were used for either transportation or for the floating markets, and they're small, so don't expect to see anything close to a shipping container attempting to come through here. Number 8. Transit Elevated Bus the idea for an elevated bus was conceived by two American architects in 1969, but it wasn't until 2010 that China decided to pick up and go ahead with the project. Their Transit Elevated Bus, or TEB for short, was designed to be the bus of the future. As the name suggests, the TEB would run on a track above cars, therefore bypassing traffic and freeing up some much-needed space on the crowded roads. In 2016, a scale model was finally built showing off just how efficient the TEB would be. Again, TEB would run along a fixed route, and the width of its passenger compartment would cover two traffic lanes, with the entire apparatus being about 15 feet tall. It would also be powered using electric lines above the routes and reach a top speed of 27 miles an hour. On paper, the transit elevated bus was an amazing idea. It would fit about 300 people at a time, take up less space, and run essentially emissions-free. 
but it proved to be too expensive and too ambitious, and many said that the technology had not yet caught up to the concept. So, in 2017, the prototype was scrapped indefinitely, and people associated with the project were even detained under suspicion of investment fraud. But perhaps one day the technology and the money will be there to make this amazing futuristic bus concept a reality. Number 7. The Devil's Hoverbike The next entry on this list is absolutely insane. Hoverboards it may, may have been a great Christmas gift a few years ago, but scientists and engineers have been working on hovercrafts for decades before the more recent fad. And in the 1950s, the United States Army managed to cook something up that they thought would help during wartime. Enter the Devil's Hoverbike. The military thought it would be a good idea for their infantry to hover their way into battle using a small one-man chopper. The idea of a battalion of hovering troops may seem like a goofy idea by today's standards, but this thing was cutting edge at the time. The biggest issue, however, with the aptly named Devil's Hoverbike is that the enormous rotator blades were placed just inches from the pilot's feet. One false move, one step in the wrong direction, and the pilot falls off of their tiny platform and into the horrifying rotating blades below, becoming minced meat. Thankfully, the Devil's Hoverbike never metaphorically made it off the ground, but it could have made for one strange way to get around. Number 6. Caproni CA60 Nova Plano Italy is definitely known for its sense of style. With cars like Maserati and Ferrari, it would seem like they got a market cornered when it comes to looking good. But the Italian aviation industry managed to make one huge mistake back in the 1920s, and I do mean huge. The Caproni CA60 Nova Plano wasn't just an enormous flop, but it was downright dangerous to boot. The CA60 Nova Plano was specially designed to fly 100 passengers across the Atlantic, but on its first and only flight, it proved that it was never going to make it that far. And yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to see why. This beast of an aircraft had three sets of wings for a grand total of nine wings and eight engines. You should be able to take one look at this thing and know she's never going to make it. But back in the 1920s, the prospect of flying across the Atlantic in the CA-60 Nova Plano seemed like too good of an offer to ignore. The plane took off from Lake Maggiore in Italy and flew an embarrassing distance of 60 feet before crashing back down into the lake. Whoops. Number 5. Curtis Goopy Duck While birds are the animals that inspired humans to attempt flight, it doesn't necessarily mean that we should literally try to recreate the shapes of their bodies when designing an aircraft. But Glenn Curtis wasn't really willing to accept that advice when he uncovered the plans for what would become his Curtis Goupy Duck. Originally designed by Alexander Goupy in 1883, the Curtis Goupy Duck didn't see its first successful flight until 1917. This ugly duckling did actually look just like a duck, and it was built with three-axis control system complete with flapping wings. But Curtis didn't create the plane for the sake of humanity. Instead, he built it out of spite towards his rivals, the Wright brothers, who had patented that same three-axis control system. But Curtis insisted that they didn't own the patent for his flapping aileron-like wings. But putting grudges aside, the Curtis Goopy Duck was much like the Wright Flyer, in that it was too clunky to maneuver and even more difficult to get off the ground and bring back down successfully. Flapping wings really are for the birds. Number 4. Felucca Ship While Egypt may be hot as blazes and is right in the desert, there are also the seas and rivers that run both through and along there that offer some quality transportation opportunities. And I'm not talking about taking a cargo ship through the Suez Canal. This method is much, much older than that. The Felucca ships are absolutely stunning sailboats that make their way up through the Nile and the Red Sea of Egypt and are still one of the more unusual ways to traverse the region. The sails of these Felucca ships are all lateen rigged, which makes them move much slower, allowing for passengers to really take their time to soak up the beauty and serenity of the Nile River. But to double down on the amazing staying power of these old sailboats, despite the easy access to motorboats and ferries, the Feluccas are still one of the most used means of transport on the water, especially for the Nile-adjacent cities of Aswan and Luxor. And as you would imagine, the Feluccas are most popular amongst the tourist population. They can hold about 10 people at a time and take just a crew of two to operate, meaning you'll never have to worry about an overcrowded ride when you're on one of these. Number 3. Wuppertal Schwebebahn 
Also known as the Wuppertal Suspension Railway, the Wuppertal Schwebebahn is an awesome yet unusually named suspension railway in Wuppertal, Germany. So instead of standing upright like your typical railway, this German method of transportation dangles above the ground almost as if it were a roller coaster. It's actually pretty cool to look at and is the oldest electric railway with hanging cars in the world, and a system that's unique to only Germany. The Wuppertal Schwebebahn was designed by Eugene Langen, specifically to be implemented in Berlin, Munich, and Breslau in the late 1800s. But each city turned it down. Too bad for them, I guess. Instead, the cities of Barmen and Elbefield decided to welcome Langen and his Wuppertal Schwebebahn, and the first track opened at the turn of the century in 1901 and immediately helped with the growth of those cities, which would eventually merge into what is now Wuppertal. This wild ride plays a huge role in the region's history and is clearly still running strong today as a local form of transportation, serving about 25 million passengers a year. The route runs for just over 8 miles and flies 40 feet above the area, including the beautiful River Wuppe at its peak. And the nice thing about this unusual ride is that from start to finish, it only takes about 30 minutes, meaning it's the perfect time killer. Number 2. Party Bikes Now it's time to party. You may have seen them in the streets of some of the more tourist-heavy major cities of the world, but the party bike really seems to be catching on. It's kind of easy to laugh and scoff at them as they ride by, but you can't deny how much fun everyone else is having inside. Party bikes have an interesting history that began in the Netherlands back in 1997 and were originally known as beer bikes, and you should be able to figure out what they were meant for on your own. But if not, everyone riding these giant bikes always has a beer in hand, and the bike is stocked enough for the entire day. By the end of the ride, only those with the highest constitutions are able to walk away unscathed. But the best part about this odd yet fun and slow method of transportation is that it can hold so many people, meaning all of your friends are on board with you. It may not be the fastest way to get around, but the party bike is certainly a great way to slow things down and really soak in not only the sights, but the suds too. Number 1. Funiculars when it comes to public transportation, trains and subways tend to be the backbone of any major city. They get people where they need to be, and help places like New York and Tokyo feel like they have their own pulse. And while those trains may be great, there are some trains that look and feel a little stranger, but are no less helpful. The funicular railways in Europe are as cute as they are functional, but it may not be for the faint of heart, because not only do they reach all sorts of heights, but they hit all of the weirdest angles, too. These funny-looking train cars pop up in countries like France, Hungary, and Ukraine, but one of the most well-known has got to be the tunnel in Istanbul. Simply translated as tunnel, the funicular tunnel runs from the transportation hub of Karakoy up through the Beoglu neighborhood to the Galata Tower and then to the popular shopping district of Istakal Kadesi. The tunnel has been in service since 1875, which makes it the world's second oldest underground urban rail line just behind the London Underground. At its peak, the tunnel funicular rises up 203 feet and brings about 12,000 people from here to there each day. Part of what makes these so fun is that they all still manage to keep their old-world charms, and many of them have been built specifically to tackle some of the city's hills that may be just a little too steep to climb up by foot. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge-watch all of our best vehicle videos.